All right, I felt like I rushed that a little bit at the end, and so I just want to recap. And so um, in this link on our index page, I have a link to ASP Controller Home ASP Action Dating Application. And so it's going to go to the Home Controller. It's going to look for an action called Dating Application. And then it returns this view with the blank parentheses. Whenever we do that, it's going to default to look for a view with the same name as the action. And so it jumps over and finds that view. And that's how we're hooking this up. Now, what we had before again was fill out application. And we even had in the home controller an action that said fill out application. And when I run this, it's set up fine, but when I clicked on the link, it's saying, look, I went and looked in the home folder because it was in the home controller. So I'm trying to find the matching folder to find this fill out application. I looked in the shared folder and I can't find it there either. And so crash, right? And it, I just want to point out here, it is totally 100% okay for you to say, actually return the view dating application. We're going to do this in the, in the not too distant future where we'll be returning to different views. You don't have to have these blank parentheses. But in this particular instance, my personal preference is to have them match. And so I'll just change this to say, actually the action is gonna be dating application instead. And then in the home controller, I'll change this to be dating application. And that removes the need for this putting something in there. And by the way, I can still put it in there. It doesn't hurt. I can still put it in there and it sh will still run fine. Even if I have the, the view I'm pointing to be the same name as the action. And so again, everything I'm doing is try to drive us toward understanding. And so I'm teaching principles here that you can apply in the future as you need to uh, go to different views. I just want you to understand how it works. And then you can go from there and, and you won't get lost. Um, rather than trying to just follow a series of steps. All right. Well, let's let's finish here going and setting up this uh, dating application. And so we need to have here a little form for the user to fill out in that uh, dating application. And so let's jump to our dating application view and let's create a little form. And so below our little heading here, I'll drop in some form tags. And I'm just going to put in a label and the label is going to say, uh, let's get their first name. And then we'll have an input box. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. Just an input box. <laughs> There's a spoiler alert. So input, and then I'll have another label, uh, last name, and then we'll put in an input box. And then we'll, what else would we want to know about this person? Uh, maybe their age. My wife is very, very age sensitive. She's always uh, looking at people who are married and saying, they're 14 years apart or whatever. Um, and so maybe we're more interested in the age. Obviously, as you get older, age matters less and less, um, except for she does not like the situations where somebody's 60 and they're marrying a 25 year old. So anyway, um, she also hates it whenever I talk about her on these videos. Uh, label, uh, let's, what else would we be interested in? Maybe their phone number to contact, their snap. Should we do their snap? No, we'll do phone number. Uh, input box for that. And then what else would we be interested in? Maybe their major, right? Major, uh, you know, you could do like a little rule that's like English major out, law school in. Like you could just have some rule set up as we get this input. Sorry. Sorry for the English majors out there. Okay, input um, for that. And then uh, what else would we be interested in? Uh, occupation. So label with an occupation. 
you know, same kind of automatic rules you could set up. Um, you know, auto accept if it's a doctor or a pilot. Uh, <laughs> you know, if it's someone who's a doctor and a pilot, you know, just a proposal, I don't know. Um, so, and then th this is really critical. The last little box here we're gonna do is a is important. So this is a measure of their level of creepiness and or stockiness. And so um, this is gonna be our um, label uh, where we say uh, creeper stalker level. All right, so creeper stalker level. Um, Actually, I'm gonna do this a little bit differently now that I think about it. Let's let's do a question. So are you a creeper and or stalker? All right, so you, are you a creeper and or stalker? And on this one, just to get a little bit kind of a different kind of input, what we're gonna do is do a little select list here. If you've done this, that just gives us a, an option to check yes or no, right? And so we, we can put in our select, we can put options. And so I'm gonna have an option value. This one is going to be true. And then that'll be yes. And then we'll have option value false. No. All right, so that'll be our little select button. And then we need something to be able to submit the application in the end. And so I'll say, let's add a button, and the type in this case will be a submit button. That'll come into play here in a minute. And then we'll say on there, submit the application. Okay, so let's see how this looks. I'll save that and run it. And so I can click on this link here. And other than the fact that I don't like it, that it's all you know just listed out like that, um, it looks good and I can drop down and choose here this creeper stalker option the button doesn't do anything currently but it's there and so maybe other than just uh, making laying this out a little bit differently so it doesn't look so bad um, maybe I'll just put some break tags in here between each of these options and again do not Come to me for design because I am terrible at it. Break tag there, and then a little break tag here. Okay, let's see how that looks. And sure enough, that looks a little bit better. Still not great, but again, this is not a class in design. <laughs> You're gonna to have to get that somewhere else because I uh, I'm an excellent teacher, uh, but I not that good. I'm good, but not that good. Some of you are questioning the the first good. All right, well let's go ahead. We've got our form now, but it's not hooked up to any data, and we haven't done anything so far with models. And so next is where we introduce this idea of incorporating the model into the form. We'll do that in the next video. Spencer out.